Welcome to the We Want Picks Post Sway In Show. My name is Minty Betts. This Saturday is UFC Vegas 90, Brendan Allen versus Chris Curtis 2. This will be a rematch in which Chris Curtis got the win in the first meeting back in 2021. I'm here to give you a little recap of the official weigh-ins, and man, there were four fighters who missed weight today. Normally, a majority of the fighters on the card will line up and power through right when the weigh-ins begin, and then maybe the remaining five fighters will trickle through into the last half hour. This morning, though, was very different. We only had a small handful come out in the beginning of the weigh-ins and stagger throughout the entire show. Not a good sign and lots of drama, so let's get into it. First to step onto the scale was Norma Dumont at 136 pounds. Her opponent, Jermaine Durandami, is coming off a three-year layoff. She comes into this fight as a plus 105 underdog, and there has been quite a bit of line movement because I remember seeing her at plus 170 last week. Lots of people back in Jermaine this weekend, and she looked fine with a weight of 135 pounds. Uh, last fighter to be weighed was Nora Cornell at 138 and a half, which is a miss coming in two and a half pounds over the bantamweight limit, but no sweat because her opponent, Melissa Mullins, came in two pounds overweight as well at 138. And not gonna lie, she looked slightly miserable. In the main event, we've got Brendan Allen, who's on a six fight win streak, coming in at 186. Chris Curtis, on the other hand, weighed 186 as well, but he looked fantastic. High energy, good moves, physique looked awesome. Um, but what do you guys think? Do you think that Chris Curtis wins this rematch? A little nugget from my friend Yanni the Greek. Since 2010, winners of the first meeting go on to win the rematch over 70% of the time. Now, I'm kind of leaning Chris Curtis here, but that's not my bet for this fight. In the co-main event, Alexander Hernandez has lost three of his last four and is back down to 145 from 155. He missed weight by four pounds at 150. As I'm recording this video, he is attempting to cut a few pounds, so we'll see what happens. But his opponent, Damon Jackson, my friends, looked so dehydrated. He just did not look good. And honestly, getting spooky vibes, okay? He looked a little spooky. Uh, he did make weight, though, at 146. On a Jacob's lock of the week, his lock was on Cynthia Calvillo. Calvillo has lost five straight, and unfortunately, she came in three pounds over the straw weight limit at 119. Although her opponent, Piera Rodriguez, officially weighed 116, this fight is off. Sorry, Jacob. So the weight misses were Alexander Hernandez, Cynthia Calvillo, Nora Cornell, and Melissa Mullins. Ladies, get it together, come on. At Bantamweight, we've got a pair of fighters making their UFC debut, Victor Hugo and Pedro Falcao. Uh, Pedro's coming in on less than a week's notice. What a champ. And the odds honestly aren't that crazy. Normally when we see a fighter come in on short notice, they're usually a huge dog, but yeah, this is decent. Uh, Pedro came in at 136 while Victor weighed 135 and a half pounds. Both looked really good and ready to go. Another fighter at, uh, or another fight at 135 I want to highlight is Gian Matsumoto making his UFC debut. Uh, as we saw in Contender Series, Dana loves the guy. He seems to be a popular pick this week as well. Uh, and I'm going to be honest, I like him too. At the weigh-ins, he came in at 136 pounds. Dan Argetta is coming off of two back-to-back like we have no contests and uh he's looking to write the ship here he did have to strip down to get weight again but his official weight was 136 as well another fighter who needed to get the towel and confirm weight was ignacio bahamondes he has missed weight in the past uh and i think he lost that fight i believe but he did make weight today at 156 in his fight against christos yagos Woo! Lots happened this morning, and uh, if you guys appreciate my friends Angelo and Jacob, please head over to WeWantPicks.com and become a premium member. Subscribe to this channel and follow on all social platforms at WeWantPicks. As usual, I will be giving out a few of my bets on the ESPN Plus broadcast on Saturday, so check that out and follow me on Twitter and Instagram at MintyBets. Until then, check out the post weigh-in show next week right here on YouTube for UFC 300, Jamal Hill versus Alex Pereira.